Uh, it's in this building right here, the uh, Ginlet Hall, second floor. And then there's two different dorms within each of the buildings. I live in Benson, right over there. Getting to know Culver is really discovering the range of academic, residential, athletic, and recreational activities available on the campus. Whether you're looking for a quiet place for study or reflection, or open spaces for fun and recreation, you'll find it at Culver. Stretching along several miles of the northern edge of Lake Max and Cuckee, the 1,500-acre campus includes 37 major buildings. Most campus activities take place in one of three main areas of the campus. The academic area, the residential area, or the athletic and recreational area. From the west, the theater building lies on the edge of the academic area. Beyond are the tree-lined walks of the residential section of campus, which includes main barrack and north and east barracks. The parade ground marks the beginning of the athletic and recreational area. Nearby are the riding hall, the stadium and tennis courts, a nine-hole golf course, acres of fields and woods, and even an airstrip. As you begin to explore Culver, a good starting point is the dining hall with its clock tower. On the lower level is the bookstore and the student center, a natural gathering place for listening to music, playing games, or having a snack. Within sight of the dining hall are two cadet living quarters, north and east barracks, some of the administrative offices are located on the first floor of these two barracks. The parade ground lies beyond, through the arch. In the other direction, walkways will bring you to the other boys' barracks, the girls' dorms, and the main academic buildings. Most classes are scheduled in the three buildings across the yard from the girls' dorms. This is the main academic section of the campus. Easily identifiable by its cupola and weather vane, Ginnellet Hall is home to classical and modern languages. This is the humanities building and it's math and English department. The Epley Halls, humanities to the left, and sciences to the right, flank Ginnellet Hall on the terrace, forming the corners of a quadrangle. So you're going to switch this over S squared, and you need to square it because it says short square. Epley Hall of the Humanities houses the math and English departments, as well as the student writing, academic skills, and computer centers, and that all-important link with home, the post office. Chemistry, biology, physics, and other science courses meet across the terrace in the classrooms and laboratories of Epley Hall of Sciences. Oh, this is Beeson. It's seniors only. <laughs> Between the science building and the girls' dorms, Beeson Memorial Hall, a traditional gathering place for Culver seniors, completes this side of the quadrangle. The library on the lake side of the academic area is a popular study spot and a place where students and faculty members can discuss their work together. Beyond the main academic buildings is the auditorium, clearly marked by its columns, fountain, and arcade. The walk around the side of the dining hall leads to the main athletic complex, which includes gymnasiums, an indoor track, and the pool. Just beyond is the ice arena. Its carillon can be heard in every corner of the campus, and its ornate spire can be seen almost as clearly, making the chapel a landmark. High on the hill, at the northeast side of the campus. The chapel spire also makes it easy to find the student health center. Beyond the health center, turrets rising above the parade ground bleachers, is the largest single building on campus, the riding hall, where the famed Culver Black Horse Troop goes through its paces.
In the afternoon, most Culver students get involved in activities in one of the buildings or fields in the recreation and athletics area of campus. When the formal class and activity schedules wind down at the end of the day, students take the opportunity to relax and, of course, study. Getting to know Culver is more than learning about the campus and the opportunities it holds. It means getting to know its people, the community that is the heart of the Culver experience. I came here and everything was new to me and I had no idea what to expect, you know, coming into a military school. And so I was I was a little bit in shock. I didn't know what I wanted to do, where I was gonna fit in, who were gonna be my friends, and you know, what type of person I was gonna be at Culver. First day here, whether a boy or a girl, you are given certain responsibilities. You have certain functions and duties to perform. And you are evaluated by your peers and those who have positions of responsibility over you, whether in the military or the prefect system. And so you get feedback. But in addition to the feedback, you get support so that you're told how you can do it better how you can perform in a more capable fashion. If I were in his place, having one son say that the other wants to kill the father... I still get scared if I have to go and give a prepared speech in front of a class, but it's kind of, through my experiences, I think it's gotten overall a lot easier to deal with, with nervousness and crowds and things like that. Um, you deal with very different type of people here, um, different types that come from different backgrounds, and sometimes kind of wonder your audiences may differ at times. I've had to deal with that. But um, I've learned it through different speech skills. And then since I perform a lot with piano too, it kind of, I've learned to deal with stage fright and things like that. She was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean in 1932. She was also the first to fly across the Pacific Ocean from Hawaii to California in 1933. She began her life and career in Atchison, Kansas, 1898. What were some things that you saw Abby do that... I learned more about myself and my potential for influencing other people in high school than I have any, at any time since. First, and then we'll talk about the content. And you're going to... They think that that will make you win the debate. Just by your because we have these structured okay, so situations with other people, our classmates, our peers, teachers, teams, clubs. All this is going on. And it's a perfect uh, lab for learning about yourself and the way you interact with other people. All the way down through and push to the bottom of the line. Where does that thing climax? Where's the climax of, of the phrase? Remember, you're sharing a big secret with her here, okay? 
I'm not getting the idea. You don't want other people to hear. If it has secret passageways, they may have secret listening devices, okay? I get to know these and students a in a way that I would normally know them in a classroom. I want a lot of laughter on the joke. On the joke. What you're doing in a is classroom, you're sharing, they're, they're one the way audience, with me. But on, in the play, the it's entirely okay. different. And you have to let us in on this little secret. But we need to see it happening here. We need to see the romance developing. Both my teachers, Ms. Kreiman and Ms. Tolchinsky, are very demanding. They, uh, they beat on me, not physically, but they drill me continuously because they think that every person has a talent. Lift, open, let go, check, find your balance, and stretch away, through, good. Closing Dancing is, is very hard. It's, I played football and wrestled, wrestled two years, football four years, and... I've done a lot of extracurricular activities, and out of everything I've done, dancing is the hardest thing I've done. That's right, this thing is done. Some people come here for athletics, some, here, some people come here for like academics, but you know, no matter what type of person you are, you can always find a place at Culver because there's so many different things to do. This is the stigma here, and this is where there are some... Um, you look for what you think is, is the content mastery. Sometimes I'm written I'm exams are good, sometimes I'm oral exams good. are good. In this case, um, the oral is a better communicator of their knowledge. They will very quickly figure out whether they understand the material or not. I will very quickly find out whether that is the case. And that's a very important educational tool for them to clearly know as they are doing it whether they are really understanding the material. Throughout the entire year, he emphasizes learning, trying to fit things together so that when we actually have to come to a time like the AP exam where you're under pressure and you have to do well on this, on this test, then you really want to do well. And I want to do well because I want to do well. But I also want to do well because I want Mr. Winnett to feel proud of me. I want him to feel that I was a good student and that I did my best. There's a very clear path in terms of what you must learn to do and to perform in order to move to the next step or the next plateau. And so by the time you are a junior or a senior, you have a, a pretty strong sense of who you are and uh, a self-assurance that uh, is based on experience. There is the feedback, there is the support, and the constant clarification from other students as well as adults, so that in a in the clearest sense, you always know where you are and what you need do to do to move on. And that's the idea, to move on, to grow. You can't get away with passivity here. 
It's not, why did you come to Culver? You know, you came to Culver for a purpose. And teachers recognize that. And the teachers are very good about bringing you out of yourself and showing you that even if you're not interested in the material, they can make you want to grasp and want to learn and want to understand why. Great. Great. Well, when I first came over the leadership position, just the thought of it was just a shock to me that maybe I'd be the leader one day, but I was told that one day I would be the one leading and taking someone else's place, and I had a whole year to just get adjusted to that. And, and um, I was told that get used to it now because one day you're going to be the leader. I think that the core organization uh, helps it gives the people that are that are placed in command a great responsibility to deal with all, all these different types of people and how how to deal with them and it's an experience that i see as my most that the thing i most cherish about what i've taken away Culver Kid is capable, committed, caring, um, developing, growing uh, in a variety of ways, um, not just intellectually, uh, not just physically, but also, I think, morally and spiritually. Like in barracks after taps, like after 10 o'clock, you know, that's when you make your friends, and that's when you have, you know, those conversations that you'll remember for the rest of your life. But, I mean, I'm happy to get out of here to move on with my life and, you know, see new things. But it's going to be really hard to leave Culver.